Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to set up VMware Fusion Pro to work with the Autolab. One of the nice things about Fusion Pro is that it has this network editor built into Fusion and this means that we don't have to use uh, Nick Weaver's Uber Fuser to get the networking to work correctly. Now if you're using non-pro version of VMware Fusion, you'll need to go and have a look at how to use Uber Fuser and take a look in the deployment guide for that. One of the things we're going to need to do is to turn off this requirement to provide authentication uh, to enter promiscuous mode. This means that when we start up the ESXi virtual machines, we won't need to uh, provide authentication to allow them to start up in promiscuous mode. just makes things easier. The networking within Autolab uses VMNet3, the third virtual network, and we need to declare on it the subnet that it's going to be using, so 192.168.199.0 is the subnet. We need to apply that setting, and you need to tab out of the, the subnet IP field before you hit the apply button. After you've hit the apply, we can turn off providing DHCP on the subnet. We don't want the uh, the Mac, we don't want Fusion to provide DHCP because we're going to provide DHCP from the domain controller virtual machine. The other thing to do is, is to leave unticked this NAT option that would then provide routes off this VMNet3 network. We're going to provide those with the, uh, the router virtual machine. Okay, so we just hit apply on that. And then because I like to keep things nice and clean and tidy, I'm going to remove VMNet2, just leave VMNet3. Okay. And really that's all there is to the network set up for a, a Mac with, with Fusion Pro and uh, all of the networking is now configured for us. Next stage is going to be to deploy the files that make up the Autolab and then start populating build shares and those kinds of things. Those will be in following videos.